Apple just released an update to GarageBand on iOS and a new app called Music Memos. And if you've ever been interested in creating music, you're probably gonna like these updates. Now Music Memos is a totally new app and it takes the recording features of voice memos and kind of gives it a musical ability. It's a very simple interface with just a record button in the center and the basic idea here is that if you have an idea you can record it and then you can quickly add some drums or a bass to it and then share it off. It's pretty easy to use. So just a quick demo, I made a simple loop in GarageBand and then I'm recording it with Music Memos. This is just using the iPhone's built-in microphone, but you can also attach an external one to record a better quality sound. Once it's recorded though, it gets analyzed and you can adjust various parts of it. And then you can also add a drum kit or a bass to it and it goes along with the recording. If you speed up, the bass and drums speed up and if you slow down, they also slow down. Once you have something you like, you can share it out to SoundCloud or to Apple Music Connect, or you can continue editing it even more in GarageBand. There's a lot of different ways to share this out, and this is really an easy way to quickly get an idea out of your head and out into the real world. Another little feature this app has is a built-in tuner. It works pretty well and lets me know it's definitely time to tune my piano. Now, for some more finished recordings, Apple also released a pretty big update for GarageBand and iOS. What's new here is the live loops feature. With this, you have a few different genres of music to choose from, and then you get a grid of different sounds and you can create loops with it. So you pick a genre and you select a sound and it loops. And you can also select multiple sounds at a time or create your own and it's very easy to use. So this right here is the hip hop genre and I can start off with a basic beat and just keep adding to it. Now, well, the first time you use this, you definitely wanna go through and see what all the different sounds are, but once you get used to where everything is, it's pretty easy to use and I could just keep adding. And once I have something that I like, I can also add some effects like some filters or a repeater. There's nothing really complicated here. You just tap on what you wanna hear and it starts playing. And then if you want to save this particular beat that you're working on, you can do that and continue working on it in GarageBand. Now there's one more feature that's called Drummer, and this comes from Logic Pro, and basically it's a drum kit that plays itself. You can adjust different genres, and you can add more tracks, and you can change how much is going on with the different instruments. Basically it gives you control of everything that you want to hear, but it does it for you so that you don't have to do individual notes, it just gives you the overall feel of the track. It helps to create something very quickly, but have it still sound good. So those are the main updates with GarageBand and the new Music Memos app. The Memos app is available for free in the App Store and GarageBand is available for a free update or for $4.99 US. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and visit MacRumors.com for the latest Apple news. And also let us know down below with a comment, how often, if ever, do you create music with GarageBand? Thanks for watching, I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors and I'll see you next time.